next on High Tide. You killed her. It's so romantic. A beautiful mermaid washes up on the beach, and Joey comes to her rescue. We've got a problem. She doesn't remember anything. Well, I'd ask you out, except I wouldn't know who I was asking. For some strange reason, we have this connection, you know? I think she might be the one. Gentlemen, you simply won't find a better personal killing machine than the AK. The weapon of choice from the Sudan to South Central. Hey. <laughs> now, wait until we get in your room. What are you think? No, 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 no. I can ship these in lots of 100 anywhere in the world. Hey. Anywhere on the globe. I don't know. Sorry, Mr. Bender. Uh, he thought that this was his room. He's drunk. Uh, oh. Nice custom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. Don't worry. Uh. Just do your job, sweetie. I, I won't tell anyone. I know you won't. Thank you, Mr. Bender. All right, all right. Fine. Come on up to my room. Uh. Gentlemen, for every hundred guns shipped. I'll throw in one of them. Free. <laughs> Nothing personal, just business. Ocean's a fickle mistress, and like any relationship, there's a lot of give and take, not to mention the occasional oily duck. Well, I think you gotta get a leash. That's ridiculous. I'm the best surfer on this beach. I don't need a leash. I feel bored with that waitress you were with last night. Uh, you know, you're very judgmental. She's a very nice person. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's your stupid board? Holy mackerel! What? <laughs> well, 
Now we're gonna need a wheelbarrow full of tartar sauce. Be careful. It's really weird. I mean, I mean, I feel fine. I can talk fine. But when I try to remember little things like who I am and where I'm from, nothing. Do I even, do I, do I have a wallet or something? Fish don't have pockets. Too bad you weren't dressed like a kangaroo, huh? I was wearing that? Impossible, I never would have been able to find shoes. Look, we don't have very much to go on. All we got is this motel key. Ring any bells? No, nothing. All right, why don't we try your name? Oh, God. I should at least be able to remember my name. Don't worry about it. I've had a head injury. Just get some sleep. We'll be all right. Joey, can I see you outside? We'll be right out here if you need us, okay? Okay, thank you. Something fishy about all this. Very funny, Mick. What? Oh, fish. Sorry. I'm gonna call Sam, see what they got in uh, missing persons. Why don't we try to piece this together ourselves? Come on, we can give her way more attention than the cops can. Besides, I think she likes me. We keep her. No, we can't keep her. We're gonna call the police. Yeah. Hey. So, did you find anything out? No, no, she's drawn a complete blank. Think I'm in love. This is just the coolest story. Everyone thinks so. Everyone? Everyone I've told. Customers and my cousin Sheila. Even that weird guy at the falafel stand. It's so romantic. A beautiful mermaid washes up on the beach and Joey comes to her rescue. Annie, let's not tell everyone till we get to the bottom of this, okay? Okay. Not a word for me. This is a great story, though. It's right out of one of those Dashiell Hammett books, you know? Sam Spade. Let me guess, you're Sam Spade. Yeah. Think about it, though. A beautiful woman, no memory. Sounds like the girl you took to your prom. Make jokes, but this is right out of Sam Spade. Sounds more like a fish out of water story to me. Ha <laughs> ha, more fish jokes. Very funny. But I bet you we could solve this thing. We already got a couple of clues. Joey, we got squat. We got a motel key and a fish suit. Look, I've read enough of those books to know that all this stuff adds up to an awesome story. Look, when Annie's off the phone, call Sam at the station make sure she's on her way, all right? Is something wrong with your dialing finger? Excuse me? Fine, I'll call. Thank you. Mom, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Joey found a mermaid. Of course not. I haven't done this since college. Well, boys, I thought I've heard it all, but this is one whale of a tale. Don't you start. Hey, what are you going to do? You file a report? Well, the best thing we could do is circulate her picture in the media. Her picture will run in the paper tomorrow morning, and if anybody knows her, they'll call. That doesn't work. You can always put her photo in a can of tuna. Yeah, maybe it's me, but I don't find this funny. Oh, relax, Joey. You're off the hook. Hey, Mick. Can I have the rest of the day off? As opposed to what? Just asking. All right, so what do you want us to do? Nothing. You don't have to worry. She's our problem. She's not a problem. Boss. Yes. We've got a problem. I know. But we're lucky. She doesn't remember anything. Call this lucky? This is very bad for business. Right. Calm down. I am calm. I'll take care of it personally. 
You do have a flair for this kind of thing. It's taken care of. Better be. Joey, could you, um, tie me up? <clears throat> sure. No peeking. I, I wasn't peeking. Yes, you were peeking. You're a guy. Well, gotta admit that uh, ever since I saw you that first time on the beach in that fish suit, uh, I was hooked. Uh, now I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. How about Joey? Mm. No. Okay, uh, start with the A's. <clears throat> Alex. Mm -mm. I already know an Alex anyway. Uh, Brenda. That just doesn't sound right. All right. Um, what do you think of Gabrielle? Well, that, that sounds French. I don't feel very French. No, oh, you're right. You couldn't be French. You like Americans. Well, I know I like you. Well, I'd ask you out, except I wouldn't know who I was asking. <laughs> well, maybe I'll come to me in my dreams. Well, then we'll both be dreaming about you. Good night. Dr. Noah Drake, please call liposuction. Oh, man, at last! Let's get out of here. Hospitals, give me the willies. The willies? I know, not as bad as the heebie-jeebies, worse than the creeps. Hey, give me another minute. I just want to check the gift shop, grab some flowers. Could you, uh... Could yeah. You... Make it fast. Put a guard on the door. She'll be safe. No, no, there's too many people in and out. Doctors, nurses. I mean, anyone could look like they belong. Okay, um, I'll call the shelter. Was she a puppy? The shelter? Come on. How about a safe house? Okay. No, look, guys, I know the safest house. <sighs> All right, let's go over it again. Okay, we got a beat-up motel key with no name or number on it, just this sunburst, mermaid outfit, and an attempted murder. In your dream, you said someone was chasing you around the boat. Yeah, but I, I couldn't make any of it out very clearly. Do you remember anything about a motel? No. How about the sun? Does that mean anything to you? I remember this. Well, I'm looking out my window, and this is really strange. I, it's nighttime out, but I have a distinct image of a sun shining. 
Okay, we've tried the Sunrise Motel, the Sunburst Inn, Sundial. You sure know this is familiar? Maybe I'm just not remembering it right. Okay, here we are at the Sunspot. Anything? I really don't... Wait a minute. I recognize this place. I recognize this place. Okay. It's night out, but the sun is still shining. You know what? I got an idea that's going to save us all kinds of time. OK, look, you said that from your room you could see the sun, right? So let's check only the rooms that face the sign. Hey, Sam Spade, all the rooms face the sign. Oh, that's, that's true. OK, excellent point. Hmm. All right, so what would you do instead? We got a key. Let's find the right room. That's it? Okay, we found it. Yes. This is familiar. I recognize this. Check it out. MR. MR? Does it mean anything? I don't know. This is me. This is my stuff. Sure is. Look, I must be a nurse. That's good. You know, I, I care about people. Apparently, you clean up after people as well. And you spank people, too. Oh, this is too weird. You know, there's too many clothes here for one suitcase. Why don't we go talk to the desk clerk? What's this, an American Express commercial? <clears throat> no, I'm, I, do you recognize me? Look, I just started this week. I can't even work the computer. I'm really an actress. I bet you're a good one, too. Look, we're staying in room 18. Can we got a bill, please? OK, room 18. Miss Ross? Ross. Ross. Marjorie Ross, room 18, you? Marjorie Ross. Marjorie Ross. I recognize that name. Good for you, you win a cookie. I'm Margie Ross. Look, I know it looks a little high, but you ate all those chocolate macadamia nuts from the mini bar. They're nine bucks a pop. Nine bucks? I just knew who this other girl was. Can I take a look at that? Hey, what's this in the background? Look. Oh. This could be the boat you're on called the High Spirits. I'm gonna go check this out. What do you want me to do? Keep an eye on her. Tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Stay out of sight and keep a low profile, all right? No problem. <laughs> now, there's a technique to spreading suntan lotion that most people don't understand. See, it's very important that you put some on every part. Every part, huh? Well, yeah, because otherwise you get an uneven tan, which is an absolute social faux pas. Come on, Joey. Like, it isn't obvious that this is some cheap trick to pick up girls. Even I know that, and I don't even remember what my favorite food is. Hey! Hey! 
Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm basting the fish. <laughs> I just saw something. Joey, why is this happening? It's okay, it's all right. I'm scared. Well, you got a right to be. Okay, look. It's all right, nothing's gonna happen to you, I promise. I just thought about something. Do you realize you're my oldest friend in the world? Yes, I am. It's all right. Joey, can we talk? Sure. What's up, man? Don't you think you're getting a little too friendly? What are you talking about? I don't know anything about it. Look, Mick, I know it sounds crazy. We hardly know each other. But for some strange reason, we have this connection, you know? I think she might be the one. I'm very happy for you, Joe. I mean, she's a very beautiful girl. She's sweet, she's smart. She certainly seems to like you. But don't forget, she's been through a very tough time. You don't know how she's gonna react when this is all over. You ever heard of the rescue love syndrome? I saw something about it on the Donahue show. Look, all I'm saying is she's in a very vulnerable position. Just be careful. I know what I'm doing. I hope you do. Mick? Joey? Hey, Sam. Sam? Cop that makes house calls. This one does. Is she here? Uh, yeah. Margie, could you come out here for a second, please? What's the matter, Sam? We found the other girl. You did? Does she know who I am? I'm sorry. She's dead. We found her body under the pier. Why does this keep happening? I don't know. Do you know anything about the dead girl? Yeah, we have a complete ID on her. We have a uh, driver's license and fingerprints from prior arrest records. Her name was Marjorie Ross. Marjorie is dead. Who the hell am I? Our best guess is that you're one of Marjorie's girls. What? Marjorie Ross was a notorious madam who worked the resort circuit. She supplied girls to high rollers. Great. Now you're implying I'm a call girl. How humiliating. Well, that doesn't matter right now. We've got bigger fish to fry. But don't mind them, right? I know you're not a call girl. Look, we have Marjorie's appointment booked down at the station. There's a lot of names in it. Maybe one of them is yours. Hey, maybe one of those names knows who the murderer is. Could I see that book? Sure. Beer. Where's Wilson? Wilson? Yeah? I got a message from Margie. She can't make it today. Oh, man, that's the second time she's flaked. Yeah, you hear there was quite a party on the high spirits the other night, huh? Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, man, how can I get in on one of those things? You don't get in on one of those things. That's Bender's party. Oh, Bender, right. So, uh... Where do I find Bender? If you don't know how to find Mr. Bender, you got no business with Mr. Bender. Conversation's over. What do you want? I don't know. He's a friend of Marge's. Wants to see Bender. Those guys from the hospital, they know something. 
They've been snooping around. Your ineptitude is frightening. I've got to check them out. They run a shop, high tide. And they live above. My guess is the girl lives with them. I don't pay you to guess. This should have been over with a week ago. It would have been if you hadn't screwed up that yet. I guess if you want something done right, I can't let you do it. This all ends today. Hey, Joey, could you come here a second? I need you to help me with something. Clear tonight with a low. Yeah, what is it? Oh. I'm gonna go make up my room, and uh, you can sleep in there tonight, and I'll sleep on the couch. Joey, this is really bothering you, isn't it? What? Well, that I might be a hooker. <sighs> Look, you are not a hooker. Please stop saying that. But I might be. I mean, it is possible, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible. But I found you in that cove. It's almost like I was supposed to find you. Maybe it's fate. Maybe somebody's trying to tell you something. I'm, I'm going to sleep on the couch tonight. No, look, it's no trouble. No, for you. I know. Which is exactly why I don't mind. I mean, you've done more than enough. <laughs> Besides, I insist. Who is it? Kurt Mathis. Who are you? I'm Kurt Mathis. I'm looking for my wife. Your wife? I know you. Oh, my God. Your face is so clear to me. You know this guy? I know him, Joey. I know him from, well, from somewhere. Let him in. Uh, how do I know you're who you say you are? Maybe this will help. Elaine Mathis, 151. Is this you? Yes, that's me! I'm married. See, Joey, you were right. I'm not a hooker. I've been looking for you for a long time, Elaine. We had an argument a few weeks ago. It got pretty bad. She, uh... She's got a drinking problem. Eventually, she ran out of the house without even taking her purse. Maybe you got mixed up with some bad people. That would explain the uh, murder attempt. Angry drug dealer or something. I'm here to take her home. I want you to come back and recover with me, Elaine. Uh, that might not be such a good idea. There's still a case pending. Joey, this is my life. I, I need to, to go back and remember everything that I've forgotten. I'm sorry, Joey, but I need to go home. I want to thank you personally for taking such good care of my wife. Sure about all this, Elaine? Be happy for me, Joey. Oh, I am. I am. Give me a second, okay? Sure. Well, I guess it's uh, Mrs. Mathis now, huh? I am. I don't know what to say. That's all right. You don't have to say anything. I understand. Fairy tales aren't real. Well, let's keep in touch, you know? And there's no reason why we can't be friends. True. Sure. Let's do that.
found out who she is. Her name's Elaine, Elaine Mathis. You know? Yeah, I know. Where is she? I'm a lost soul, Mick. You know, it was a beautiful love story, a fairy tale come true. You know, a guy thinks he's finally got something special, and then, just like that, it's gone. You drinking that stuff? No, I'm just holding it for effect. We better take a shot. Turns out she was a hooker. What? Sam got a record from Sacramento. Where is she? Her husband took her. Husband? Yeah, he was here a couple hours ago. She said she knew him, that she was happy. Apparently, she had a drinking problem, and she left him. And she came down here, and things got worse. She got into drugs, and she... Oh. Oh, I did a bad thing. I don't understand. How could you just let him walk out with her? Well, he was really convincing, and she insisted. We were just both so glad she wasn't a hooker. I thought you were such a brilliant detective. Where was Sam Spade when we needed him? Huh? I know you cared about her, but the fact remains, she is a hooker. She's not a hooker. She doesn't want to be a hooker, Mick. I can help her. We gotta find her first. Duh! Hey, Wilson. I'd like a word with you. Where's Bender? I don't know. Spill it or you're busted. For what? Soliciting prostitution. Big deal. Slap of the wrist. Oh, and accessory to murder. What? Yeah, Margie's dead, pal. I don't know anything about that. Bender does. Where is he? Honest, I don't know. Ask Sanchez. Who's Sanchez? He'll be here. He lives here. Come on. That's him. That's Sanchez. That's the goon from the hospital. Let's get it. Let me out of here. You mess with Sanchez. You mess with Bender. Wait, wait, wait. He's getting back in his car. I'm on it. Kidding, you're already enough of a burnout. <laughs> this whole place is electrified. There's no way in. Sure there is. Just need the right equipment. What equipment? So you got her? Yeah. Stupid hooker. She actually believes she's my wife. Loves the house. I just need to know who she's talked to and how much she knows, and then we lose her. All right.
dry. Goodbye. <clears throat> You. The first thing I clearly remember is Joey leaning over me. And that's all you told the police? Yeah. Elaine, you can relax now because this whole thing is just about over. Oh, you killed my friend, you bastard! exactly what's going to happen here. I'm going to walk down these stairs with the girl and get into my car. You are going to leave us alone, or I'll cut her throat, and I won't hesitate to do her, and then you. Joe, you've got to help me. Just don't hurt her. Stay put, surfer boy. Don't move! Just want to make sure she's OK. She's fine. Back up. You okay? I remember everything now. At the party on the high spirits, he killed Margie, and I saw him do it. That's all right. You're safe now. Nice catch. All right. High Tide will continue. Cheer up, Elaine. She's never gonna bother you again. They got him in everything from murder to prostitution to arms dealing. I think they haven't found a couple overdue library books. Then we're gonna walk the streets again. No, but will I? I'm gonna leave you two alone. Annie's downstairs by herself, and hey, I wouldn't want her to have to do any actual work. <laughs> well, you certainly don't have to. You've been given a very special gift. A new chance. Yeah, and you gave me that chance. Anyone could have found me and just ignored me or let the police handle it sold me to SeaWorld. <laughs> but you didn't. You cared enough to make sure I was OK. You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. What was I going to do, just leave you there? Well, I'm very grateful. And you showed me what it was like to, to be a whole person, you know, to be away from the life. Thank you, Joey. Thank you very much for everything. So what are you going to do now? I'm gonna go home, get counseling, get a real job, build a real life. So, where does that leave me? Uh, us? Joey, knowing what I am. What you were. You see, I didn't know Elaine Mathis, the call girl. I knew Elaine Mathis, the mermaid. I tell you what, as soon as I figure out just exactly who Elaine Mathis is, I promise you will be the very first person I call. I'd like that.
Okay. Yeah. It's tough, I know. You fell for a hook, line, and sinker. Very funny. Shake it off. Plenty of other fish in the sea. Oh, please, you're killing me, Nick. Hey, I know. I know a great girl. She'll take your mind off Elaine, and she's famous, too. Shamu. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes fairy tales do come true, even if it's only for a while. Elaine left to find her own dreams, and Joey was left with the greatest fish tale of them all, the one that got away. Next, on High Tide. I smell a lawsuit. They're going to kill me, Mick. They're going to kill me. I swear to God, I don't know what I'm going to do. You're killing me, Mick. Maybe I should kill you first. Who's Barry? A yeah, nut job with the broom. Yes, Barry killed someone. He's innocent. Look, if you want to play cops and robbers again, then fine. You go out and apply for a new badge. Otherwise, you let me do my job. Yeah, then one tough chick. Chick? She'd ramble with breasts. Stay tuned for TV2 Eyewitness News here on Channel 38.